is a celebrity chef and the star of Travel Channel's Bizarre Foods with Andrew Zimmern. Please welcome Andrew Zimmern. Thank you so much, Andrew. Thank you for being here. Okay. Before we get started, congratulations on the tenth season. It's been a long time. Oh yes. 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 Why bizarre foods? Be At any point, did you ever say to yourself, "Why didn't I just name this show Foods?" Well, it was. <laughs> It was gonna. I wanted to call it the Wandering Spoon, possibly the worst title in the history of food television. Yeah, that's uh, bad. Thank God that didn't work. Yeah. Um, the the idea is, for me at least, is that the the stories that are most interesting and food is good, but food with a story is better. Mm -hmm. And the best stories are the ones at the fringe. And the fringes and the edges is where things. There's no chicken breast there. There's fermented, you know, walrus tushy. I mean, you know, that's the <laughs> you, that's wait, the fun wait, wait, stuff. Walrus butt? Oh sure. Haven't you? You're from South Carolina. Well, yeah. Think of the yeah. Low country. Well, we. Are you, low have, you, have you been to the low country? Oh, many times. What's bizarre in the low country? Oh my God! We ate some waterfowl, some tiny little birds that were down there that were fantastic. All kinds of parts of the pig that Rodney Scott didn't throw on the barbecue after mm -hmm, he's opened mm -hmm. up that hog. You got chitlins. Oh gosh, yes. Yeah, Not that's the good. Wazoo. Yeah, that's uh, land calamari. It is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So true. Yeah, okay. so true. Okay, so uh, is there any food that's too bizarre for you to eat? For instance, yes. Have you had human? Well, we've we've all bitten our nails from time to time, I've right? Bit, I've bitten the inside of my cheek. And we times. all have. But the, I, the, spoiler alert, God, I'm delicious. Yes. Okay. The, they've been saying that about you for years, and that's mm -hmm. why you're our final episode. Thank you very um, much. But have you have you been offered human? We have been offered famously in the Madagascar episode uh, during a ritual circumcision of a five-year-old boy. I was offered the foreskin as a sign of respect for the guest. The gr the maternal grandfather got so angry he grabbed it from me to eat it, and then the paternal grandfather grabbed it from him and threw it down his throat before he could react because he was angry that the honored guest didn't get it. I am very curious, as someone who's famous for having eaten everything in the world, if I was in Papua New Guinea and there was a pot of the long pig, I probably wouldn't say no, just out of curiosity. The long pig being us. That's what it's called down there. You, have you heard what, it's, what it tastes, what we taste like? It's like chicken. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, what are we eating? What are we eating tonight? Well, I hesitate to ask, and I've braced myself. T tonight was the, the premiere of the new season, and we started off in Spain, so I'm going to start you in Spain <laughs> with, the, with the hearty cos Cosido Madrieno, the most classic of uh, Madrid's famous meat stews. Here's everything it? from the pig, uh, intestine, belly, blood sausage, knuckle, foot, a little piece of loin. You may want to explore something over in there, chickpeas, what potatoes. It's so delicious. This, what is this right that's here? That's tripe. Tripe is yeah. what? That's the lining of the second part of the stomach, that particular piece right there. Mm. Hold on one second. You know what? Not bad. The word rubbery comes to mind. It does. <laughs> No, okay. And Foodie. blood. Well, okay. there's the blood. Don't you want to try the blood sausage? The I don't want to. Sure. I don't want to. You know, turn you off to that. Blood sausage is delicious. And there, it's mm -hmm. called morcilla, mm -hmm. seasoned with some sweet spices and onion. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. Uh, it's, you uh, know, down in there, a hearty broth. It's a brown sugar. Exactly. All right. What do we got here? Next up, Okinawa is where we go a couple uh, seasons, a couple of mm -hmm. weeks from now. Mm -hmm. And there, they believe in something called yakuzen. When they were part of the Ryoku culture, um, they weren't part of Japan at all. They were sort of an outlier nation. And they believe in eating foods for health, wellness, and medicinal reasons. So. I'm just going to put a couple of paper thin slices here, mm -hmm. and yes, of course, mm -hmm. I washed my hands of raw goat. They love raw goat. There, there's a little soy sauce. A little there. soy sauce on there. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I'm guessing. Hold on. And a little bit of lemon. Mm -hmm. And you tell me. I I think it's absolutely delicious. Mmm. Mmm. That what is. What do you think? That's actually fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you have been very open about uh, being a recovered addict. Yes. Is food a form of addiction for you? Uh, well, <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. You tell me. Uh, the, the problem, I think, for most people is if you have a personality change or it starts to rule your life in certain ways, it's a problem. Mm -hmm. I'm probably more of a workaholic than I am a foodaholic. I, I, my addiction's transferred, but, mm -hmm. you know, 25 years clean and sober from the stuff that was going to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, what do we got next? Okay, I don't, I, I don't know what that is, and you, it, looks no, question, gonna, it looks questionable at a distance. You're gonna here. love this. You're gonna that love broth, this. That right. really looks like so, uh, you found that by the highway. Th that's, is, that's, 
That's mashed plantain. This is from our Bronx episode. Plantains. Okay, One of I can the largest. That. Yeah, try the meat in there. It's delicious. One of the largest populations of Garifuna people from Honduras are in the Bronx, about mm. 200,000 strong. Mm. This is a uh, hudutu, which they usually make with fish and plantains. That's very but good. they will make it with possum. That's right. That's possum. And here. That's possum. To celebrate. Oh, it's fantastic. Are they, were you. Were you fresh out of rat? <laughs> you don't want to eat rat, but actually you might. Possum has to be purged because it's one of the only animals in the world that eats dead things. Fantastic. So you purge it for a couple days, but at least it's not rabid. For instance, it might have eaten this. What are that we is, looking at here? This is the greatest thing in the whole world. A tribute to, a tribute to Senegal, one of the great meat cultures on earth. Uh-huh. Yeah, try a little, with a little piece of bread. With what a little piece, piece of bread. Yeah, this, this, is, right here. this is roasted sheep's brain. Just a little lemon and salt. It's mm -hmm. better, believe me, it's mm -hmm. better than foie gras and bone marrow put together. I'm, I'm, hold on. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> mm. And, and a delicious, delicious part. I mean, the oh. whole world eats nose to tail. Oh my God. You grew up in nose to tail culture. Mm, mm, mm. You know what will go with that? A nice Pinot Noir. Oh, yes, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, that was delicious and a horror show at the same time. And, and now you've crossed it off your bucket list. Well, thank you so much. Andrew Zimmer, <laughs> congratulations you, on the 10th season. The 10th season of Bizarre Foods airs Tuesday on the Travel Channel. We'll be right back. I've never had brain. That was fantastic.